Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my top five tips for growing your hair super, super long and healthy and thick. I've compiled five tips that I think are really, really going to help you. Tips that you might not have already thought about. If you try them out and they are helpful, I would love to know. So make sure that you leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before we get into the video. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Anyways, guys, let's get right on into my tips and tricks for long, healthy, thick hair. for those of you who are looking to grow your hair nice and long, don't cut it. I don't understand. I hear so many people say, I need to go get my hair trimmed. You know, I'm really trying to grow out my hair, so I need to go get it trimmed. Like, no, I don't understand why people think that that makes sense. If you want to grow your hair, why would you cut it? I think what they say is that you want to be able to cut off the split ends so that your hair isn't kind of breaking off at the ends. But if you're going and getting your hair trimmed multiple times throughout the year, sometimes four or five times, you're never going to get it to grow to the length you want it to grow to. So you're just going to have to deal with some of those split ends that you might get. I personally only get my hair cut maybe once a year. I think I've gone longer than a year. And then when I do go, I get a good amount off, maybe like two inches, which maybe isn't that big of an amount, but for me it is. And it feels really healthy, and then with the following steps that I'll show you, I'm able to maintain it so that I don't get those split ends and so that I don't need to go get my hair cut as often. It just cracks me up the things people will say of, no, you need to like freshen up your ends so that it grows. Your hair grows from up here. Getting it cut is just going to take length off of it. So again, that's my tip number one. Don't cut your hair, or at least just don't get it cut as often as you might be getting it cut. Tip number two, don't wash your hair. And I don't mean never wash your hair, I just mean don't wash your hair every day. Your scalp produces natural oils that really help your hair and give it nutrients that help it grow. And also, washing your hair all the time can really dry out your hair and make it look limp and not thick. And that's what we want to avoid. It will be hard the first few times you wash your hair, maybe every other day or every two days. Your scalp is going to rapidly produce oil because it is so used to you stripping it from that oil. So the first few weeks that you try maybe skipping a hair washing, you are going to have really, really greasy hair. But if you can push through the first few weeks, I promise you, your scalp will get used to it and it will start producing the right amount of oil for your scalp. Another great thing this does is it limits the amount of styling that you need to do to your hair. If you wash your hair every day, then you normally have to blow dry it every day or do some sort of heat styling to it. If you skip a few washes, normally the style in your hair will hold and it will limit the amount of time that you're putting heat on your hair, which is really, really key to making sure that you have healthy hair that's going to grow. If you really can't stand the feeling of any sort of grease on your hair, use dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. It's literally like $2. I've tried a bunch of them and this I find is the best. You don't have to get this specific scent. This is the tropical scent from Batiste, but they have a bunch of different scents. But just spray some of this kind of in the roots. This also gives you some volume too. If you not only want length, but you want volume, this will help with that. And it will just cut down the amount of times that you actually need to wash your hair throughout the week. I personally only wash my hair probably two, maybe three times a week. Now this leads us right into tip number three, which is when you do wash your hair, make sure you're using a shampoo and conditioner that is sulfate free. Sulfates dry the heck out of your hair, and even if you do limit it to twice or three times a week, a shampoo that has sulfates in it is still just going to dry out your scalp. I believe that there are drugstore options for this, but my favorite shampoo and conditioner is from Biolage, and this is a little bit of a higher end shampoo. It's not absolutely ridiculously priced, and you can find deals on Ulta. A lot of times they have buy one, get one on this brand. 
I just really feel like this is the most gentle on my hair and also still gives me that clean kind of sudsy feeling because what sulfates do is really build up a lather and it gives you that nice clean feeling where your scalp no longer feels oily. This is the best sulfate free shampoo I have found that still makes my scalp feel clean. So I'll link this down below as well. Another really great one that is super pricey is from Pureology. I think for like a bottle of shampoo, it's like $60. You can find them at TJ Maxx a lot for like half off, so a $30 bottle of shampoo, which again, I know sounds really, really expensive, but also when you think about it, if you're going to be limiting the amount of times that you use your shampoo throughout the week, it might not be as bad. You're not gonna be using it every day, so it will last a lot longer. So I would suggest investing in a little bit better shampoo shampoo, conditioner, product. Tip number four is don't brush your hair. And obviously I don't mean ever. You are going to need to brush your hair from time to time if you're looking to style it or blow dry it. But on a daily basis, you don't need to be ripping through your hair. I would just kind of use your fingers to style it. But if you really feel the need to brush your hair, I have two brush options that I think are most gentle on the hair. One of them is a very popular brush. This is the wet brush, and I do really, really like this. Sometimes I'll even take this in the shower with me and brush through my hair while my conditioner is in my ends. I can't get through a video without dropping something. Another brush option, and this is the one I would say, if you have really, really damaged hair, this is a good way to go. A wide toothed comb, and just you kind of gently brush through. This will limit the amount of hair that gets pulled out of your head. Obviously, we want our hair to be nice and thick and long, and if you're constantly brushing your hair, you're going to be pulling out hairs from your root. It's inevitable. And my fifth tip for you guys is don't use those traditional ponytail holders. You know, these guys, yeah, don't use these as much as possible. I understand that there will be some hairstyles that require it for maybe a special event or something, but on an everyday basis, just use these to fling at your husband. Or your boyfriend. Or your sister. And definitely your brother. But don't use these in your hair. All these do, and I'm sure you guys know, when you take these out, you have a ton of hair all wrapped around here. My suggestion is to use a good old 80s or 90s scrunchie like these, and these are actually back in style now. These are a lot more gentle and you can wrap them around your hair a lot more loosely. I also like to use clips just like this. I do this all the time to do like a top knot kind of messy bun. I just kind of whip this around here in a bun shape and then clip the back. And then you've got your little messy bun and it's so much better for your hair than wrapping a hair tie around and having to rip it out. So those are all five tips I have for you to grow long, thick, healthy hair. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys want to see more hair tutorials or hair videos from me, just let me know down in the comments. If this video was helpful for you guys, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to become a part of my notification squad. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Put your hands in the hair, 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 hair. Put your hands in your hair, hair, hair. I can't even get all my hair in.